It doesn't cause any harm doing it this way. I'm actually also going to pick up this health pack. I should probably stay down. It's one thing I don't know about the air or the the darts in this game. I don't know if they're poison tipped or not. They might be at some point because they did introduce poison in this game, which we learned from the snake. But you know, I don't know about the darts. So again, better safe than sorry. Let's see. Turn around. I'm getting stuck on these damn little bits of junk. Okay, that's the door that we came from. Be careful. You want to stay in the center. Ah, damn it. Overshot it just a little bit. And again, it wasn't my fault. I couldn't control her at that point. I'll go ahead and get some air before continuing on. That should be enough. Go. And that should be the second key. Okay, good times. Super quick and super easy. Much better than the first time I played this game. Even better than the uh, practice run. This is one of the weirdest friggin' Beat Mania songs I heard. Oh, this area kind of sucks. It's not difficult, but it's kind of annoying. If you don't know what to do, and you decide that this next trap, you'd be safe in that pit, you're wrong. You're so wrong. That's what sucks about it. Let's jump. We have to beat this spiked ceiling. Might take a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Just take a look down below. What happens if you get in that pit? Everything's fine. Going like normal. And then those continue on going down. And at that point, you're dead. <laughs> Let's see, I think there might be monkeys. Okay, so we gotta open up those doors. Let's go ahead and heal up. Mm, where's that block? Supposed to be movable block somewhere, and I don't remember where it was. Oh, this one. God, it blends right the fuck in until you get close to it, I think. Actually, you know what? Let me test that theory. I'm gonna back up a little bit and see if the texture changes. No, the texture is the same, it's just really hard to spot until you get closer. And then the textures pop. So yeah, they made this game really confusing. <laughs> kind of wish that, uh, kind of like in the first game, how I used the texture pack, that you could do the same thing with the later games in the series. Just use custom textures. Oh, 
Circle Life would be so nice. And triggering off the boulders. Before jumping in. Okay, this next area should be super easy. I think, if I remember right. Oh yeah, it's this. These guys trigger as soon as you enter the room, but I think it's the square panel that uh, Lars' head is covering. And then the other statue right across from Lara, that one triggers as soon as you get up above here. But because I skipped past that, they should both be activating. I don't know why the other one didn't. Regardless, I'll be safe up here. I should probably check here. No? So I might actually have to jump down below. You gotta get him to back the fuck up, though. Of course, same strategy like last time. Just hang, climb back up. And just keep doing this over and over. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and jump down now. Bitch, I dare you. <laughs> yeah, the other one should have activated now. There we go. I would use another weapon, but I'm not quite sure if I have another one, do I? 